Tasty Tuesday, Tasty Tuesday. Get your taste buds ready for Tasty Tuesday. No, okay. Keep that, and that's going to be the start of every Tuesday episode. <laughs> I'm Pastor Diane from Norfolk Wesleyan Church. And I am Pastor Peggy from Slave Lake Wesleyan Church. Welcome to Tasty Tuesday. Tasty Tuesday, Tasty Tuesday. A whole new way of doing things here. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. I am really looking forward to today's recipe and today's special guest. Mm-hmm. And you, yes, you, 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 <laughs> you can be a special guest on here too. How cool Ooh, how is that? They do that? Well, what they do is they watch this video and then think, oh, well, I've got a recipe that I would like to teach. And, and what you do is you send us a, a recipe and uh, something that we can, like the, the the ingredients we can pick up and you come on to our show and you teach us how to make your dish oh so much fun i know if you get chosen we will give you a gift that gift is a 20 dollars gift certificate to a place of your choice sort of <laughs> <laughs> big box stores, but if you have a local business that you'd like to support and they will take a credit card order over the phone, um, I can call them, set that up and you'd be good to go. So um, we, we'd love to set you up with a $20 gift card. And you can be either in Canada or in the US. And if you're, if you're from another place, we would love for you to come on and teach us something. Yeah. We can't guarantee that we might be able to get you a gift certificate. We just, we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> but hey. So that sounds be- great. Why don't we move into the kitchen? We are now in the kitchen and oh, we have our guest with us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Melody and I get the privilege of being the pastor of Inkerman Wesleyan Church and I've been here eight years and um, Inkerman is about 45 minutes south of Ottawa, Ontario. Well, I'm I'm really excited uh, today because uh, Melody is going to teach us Listen, I, I said this this morning in my sermon, if I could be stranded on a desert island and I only had one food to choose from to eat, it would be soup. Like soup is my favorite. I'll eat it anytime. And we are going to be making soup, so I'm so excited. A new soup, soup that I don't know. <laughs> and uh, you know, pa- Pastor Peggy, I would have to agree with you, even though I love chocolate, If I were stranded on a desert island, I'd get sick of chocolate real soon, but not soup. Not soup. Not soup. We're making, I call it cauliflower soup because that's the main ingredient, but um, I do throw in other stuff and I don't know where I ever got this recipe. I think I just made it up as I went. turn your burner on to high low medium oh there it is 
Um, well, I, I have to turn mine on high to get the burner going. Okay. Um, but then it'll be turning down very quickly. So into that, I put, now this is, this is about one chopped onion, a medium onion. But if you really like an oniony, then throw in a big onion. If you don't like yeah. an oniony. I got a full onion, because I love onion. It's huge. Okay, so, so you just take your onion, and um, I just always put the onion and the pepper in before anything else, to sort of get it cooking and, and um, searing a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that sizzling away, but I just let it sizzle for a second. And then so, I start to turn my heat down. I'm going to add a couple of cloves of garlic because I love garlic. That would be really good. I don't have any garlic, um, but you can put in garlic, no problem. Um, you're gonna add two cups of water. I'm gonna add some chicken stock. If you okay. had just boxed chicken stock, but I'm gonna add like four teaspoons because by the time I put in the milk base too. So if you're using chicken stock, two cups. Okay, so chicken stock rather than water. Yeah, like I, I put in water and then I put in the, um, the bouillon. Yeah. And that makes my chicken stock, but I'm gonna make it a little stronger. And then I didn't have celery, so I'm putting in, oh, I don't know, a half to a third to three quarters of a teaspoon of celery seed. I'm gonna grind some pepper in there. And that they're all just chopped and I'm just gonna throw them all in there. And they don't have to actually cook a long time. You want them soft, but um, you're gonna mush it all up anyways. No, so good. It My does. water is nowhere near covering the veggies. Do I need to add more? Nope. Nope, it will cook. It'll just steam them. Um, just then put a lid on. I do actually have another cup of um, the stock. Can I put that in anyway? Well, or will can, that make it too runny? But then, see, like now we're going to make a white sauce. Okay. Nice. And that is two more cups of liquid. I don't know how many veggies you used, so if you've got a bit more in there and you yeah. want. Wine some more stock, put some more in. <laughs> yeah. This is the sort of, I'd only put like a, like I wouldn't put more than a cup. Yeah, I feel better about that. Even though it's still not covering all the vegetables, it's up a little bit higher, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is boiling. We're gonna make our white sauce. Oh, it smells so good. It would smell even better with the garlic in it. Mmm. Yeah. How much milk do we need? Two cups? Cups. And you're gonna need some um because we're gonna we're gonna put that in the microwave to heat it, the milk. Oh, okay. Because you have to put, to make a white sauce, you have to add hot milk. So you start with three tablespoons of butter or margarine and three tablespoons of flour. So I'm going to put it in the pot and the, I put the burner on medium. And so um, you get that melting away. And if you had a whisk, it would help when your butter is melted you can take your flour so it's 
three tablespoons roughly um, and put that in there and then whisk it away and while you're whisking you can you can um, microwave your milk for two minutes you want the butter and the flour to be nice and smooth um, before you add the milk and you might have to take your butter and flour off the heat um, like I'm doing that now I'm taking it off so it doesn't go lumpy or hard or overcooked so my milk is heated the trick for a white sauce is you add it a little bit at a time. And does it need to be on the heat when you add it? Yeah, you put your pot back on the on the heat and um, because you do want it to get thick. So I just add like a little bit and start stirring because otherwise the stuff can go really lumpy. When that's all mixed in and it's nice and smooth, you pour in the next bit. Question for you, Melanie. What? Um, I know a white sauce goes into a lot of different recipes. Do you know of some that you use a white sauce in? Oh yeah, one of our favorites is um, ham and scallop potato, like a ham and scallop potato and cheese casserole. Oh. So you make layers of potatoes and onions and ham and grated cheese and then do that twice and then you make this white sauce and pour it all over it and bake it for an hour and a half to two hours Here. by about halfway of the milk you can add it all in um, but it does need them to, to cook because it has to start thickening. Now sometimes I will add grated cheese Ooh. to this um, and that makes it really rich too. Or sometimes then I just have the soup with chunks of cheese and, and toast or grilled cheese sandwiches or cheese buns. I generally work in cheese some way because I really like cheese. Well <laughs> If you put the cheese in the white sauce, would you put it in now or wait until it can, is thick? I would let it start to thicken a little bit okay. and then put in the grated cheese. So now we can put the white sauce? No, you have to mush up your vegetables. Okay. So I don't have one of those um, immersion blenders. Okay. If any of my children happen to watch this, that would be a really thing, good thing to buy your mother. Um, when's, when's your birthday? Uh, it was last month. Um, a late birthday present, last Mother's Day present. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just putting that out there. going to be supper today. <laughs> Mine's going to be supper and lunch tomorrow and supper tomorrow night and lunch and <laughs> supper and... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well... The, there's mine. There you go. I, my vegetables are still not cooked. <laughs> oh, really? Really? So I gotta wait. Could you roast some chicken breast or something like that and add a protein into this or something along that line? Sure. I mean, the, if you added the cheese, that would be a protein. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, you could add. You could add chicken. We didn't put any salt in this. Um. There, to me, there's um. There's salt in the chicken stock. Oh, okay. But I don't use a lot of salt. Right. 
um, on anything just because there's salt in so much stuff. I'll just take a little bit because we're going to eat an early supper and this is what I'm having. So, <laughs> but, um, so I just took a tiny bit. But it looks good mm. and it does taste good. Mmm. Yum, yum. It's really good. <clears throat> mm. I'm liking it. You can, you, know, you, can, you can play with it, whatever veggies you have. Like if you don't have any broccoli, use all cauliflower. And um, you can put more carrots in, more potatoes. You can double the recipe. Um, more flavor comes through the next day. Okay. So that's what I find. So from Slave Lake, Alberta, I am Pastor Peggy Yetman. And from Inkerman Wesleyan Church, I am Pastor Melody. And from Inkerman Wesleyan Church, I'm Pastor Diane. We'll see you tomorrow for Warm Hearted Wednesday. Looking forward to that. Until then, be safe. Be healthy and be the church. God bless. Bye, everyone.